All right, so some of you guys are probably Twitch streamers, content creators, or YouTubers probably thinking, how am I going to get my videos out on my channel or out on social media for free using free software um, instead of Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut, Sony Vegas? So I'm going to be giving you guys a five minute tutorial on how you can cut your videos and uh, use DaVinci Resolve to its basics on getting your videos out there. So what you want to go ahead and do is go down to the description where I've linked the DaVinci Resolve download and you want to go ahead and download and install it. Um, so you guys might want to pause this video and get that done before coming back. So once you guys are back, you want to go ahead and, and launch um, DaVinci Resolve and you'll be greeted with this opening page here, which is the projects. So what you want to go ahead and do is click on new project. I'm going to call this test. Um, and you'll be put into the DaVinci Resolve software. So from here, you want to go ahead and go in media, right click, go in import media. So I'm going to choose uh, my 3K spray down clip here. And click open. All right, so you'll get this pop up here saying that the clips have a different frame rate than the current project settings. So you want to go ahead and click change. And this is just to just to keep the project settings the same as the uh, video file. There are no differences or nothing messing up with uh, the render settings after. Um, so from here, you want to right click your footage, create new timeline using the uh, footage. Uh, you can call the timeline whatever you want. Just go ahead and click create. You want to double click the timeline and you'll be put into the edit uh, page of the software. So the two keys you're going to be using here is B and A. B being your cut and A being your selector. So if you click B, it'll show up with a razor icon showing you that it's ready to um, cut your footage or your clips to wherever you want it to be. So this red line here is the sort of playhead of where you're going to be cutting on. So I'm just going to do some quick cuts here. Um, so let's find the bit that I want. So let's say cut here. The best thing about DaVinci Resolve is when you delete um, unwanted footage from it, it'll just push all the other footage on the right side, right uh, on the right side of your timeline all the way down to the beginning. So then you don't have to select it all and then bring it all the way back down. So from here, I'm just going to keep on creating my cuts. Uh, let's watch this through. That's a really nice spray down. Cool. So let's say I want the video to end like here and then maybe uh, create another cut at the end. Maybe like here. Click A to bring up the selector. Click the footage. Click delete. And then after you sort of got like your finished cut done and you're ready to render out, what you want to go ahead and do is go all the way down to the beginning of the timeline. Hit I. If it does this, just bring it back to the beginning and click I, go to the end and click O uh, and this will select the whole timeline so then you don't get any extra other bits at the end of your footage. To render out your video, you want to go ahead and click deliver and of course here you can see you got uh, a YouTube template, uh, Vimeo, H.264 and all of these other stuff that you can bring into other uh, editing softwares like Premiere or Final Cut. So the one I have been taught to use is the H.264 Master. You want to just set your file name to whatever. I'm going to set my locate my render location to my desktop. Um, uh, right, so your format is going to be QuickTime. Click your codec on H.264 set your resolution and frame rate to the same as your footage keep your quality on best uh, encoding profile to auto or high if you want to set it on high just understand that it's going to create your file sizes even larger and it may take more time to render your videos so after you've done all of that and you're happy with it click add to render queue and start render so that is basically how you can create your videos for your youtube channel and all your other social media platforms that you're on um, so if this video has helped you guys out make sure you give it a like comment down below on other tutorials you'd like me to make uh, whether it be on twitch 
uh, OBS, Streamlabs, um, Stream Elements, uh, any other tutorials on like maybe After Effects, Premiere, or even more stuff on DaVinci Resolve since it's free. Um, but other than that, I also stream on Twitch weekly. Uh, I try to get a stream at least three times a week. Uh, so if you want to go check me out on there, the links are down in the description below. So hopefully you guys found this informative and helpful and hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. So I'm going to go head off and I will see you guys in the next one. Jana.